Hi everyone, welcome to Gnan Cloud Garage. In this session, I'm going to talk about what is Red Hat ACM for Kubernetes and how to install ACM on OpenShift. Okay, in our previous sessions, we already talked about how to configure and install Red Hat OpenShift using IPA method, installer provision infrastructure method. So we already have OpenShift cluster in our lab. Now we are going to install your ACM on OpenShift. So before going to install, we should understand what is Red Hat ACM first. ACM means advanced cluster management for Kubernetes. So within the OpenShift, we can configure only one cluster. It comes with a, by default, three master nodes, three worker nodes. That is one cluster. Suppose in future, in our customer environment or on-premises private cloud or hybrid cloud environment, if the customer is scaling up the existing open cluster to multiple open clusters, we require a management tool. One best example is, let's say we have one ESX host, one cluster or multiple clusters. So for centrally managing all the ESX host clusters, we are using vCenter tool. Similarly, to manage multiple OpenShift clusters, we require a Red Hat ACM advanced cluster management. Okay. So this advanced cluster management, uh, let, before understanding, we'll have a quick recap what is Red Hat OpenShift portfolio overview? We already know OpenShift, Red Hat OpenShift Kubernetes engine can be run on physical environment, virtualization, private cloud, public cloud, and edge environment. And the base OS can be either Red Hat Enterprise Linux or we can use Red Hat Enterprise Linux core OS. Okay, and this is like a, it comes with your OpenShift Kubernetes engine. Suppose our license edition is OpenShift container platform will have some additional benefits like managing workload, build cloud native apps, data driven insights, developer productivity. And another method is another licensing feature is OpenShift platform plus. This platform plus comes from here to all these features. And within the Red Hat OpenShift platform plus, one of the main key feature is Red Hat Advanced Cluster Management. Okay, it have a capabilities of observability, discovery, policy, compliance, configuration, and workloads. And in addition to the OpenShift Platform Plus ACM, we also have ACS Advanced Cluster Security and also Global Registry feature, which is called QA. QUA by QA. So all these are the as part of the OpenShift portfolio overview. So with interest of our time, I'm just focusing on one component that is advanced cluster management for Kubernetes, okay? So here is the one quick diagram to illustrate advanced cluster management. If you see, as we know, OpenShift advanced cluster management is comes with a OpenShift Platform Plus license. When you have this license, OpenShift Platform Plus, it will allow you to manage not only a one cluster, we can manage multiple clusters. So cluster one, two, until cluster N. So this infrastructure can be, this OpenShift clusters can be run on either bare metal, that means physical, or it can be run on vSphere VMware platform, or it can be run on any private cloud, public cloud, even the hybrid cloud environment, wherever our OpenShift cluster is running, all these clusters can centrally managed using ACM. Okay, that is the definition of Red Hat ACM. So let me, uh, whatever point we discussed, let me show you the some descriptive points now. So as we got an idea now, ACM means it's a single console control. So manage clusters and application from a centralized console, simplifying the management process. It's correct. And also it will help you to enhance the security. So built-in security policies provided an added layer of protection for your clusters and applications and the scalability and flexibility. That means let's say we have initially, we start with the two clusters, later you can add multiple clusters as well. So extend the capabilities of Red Hat OpenShift by deploying applications and managing multiple clusters easily. So this cluster can be either bare metal or you can run it on vSphere environment or you can run it on a public cloud as well. Okay, so policy enforcement. So enforce consistent policies across multiple clusters. So ensuring compliance and maintaining a standardized environment. Okay, and the compliance and monitoring. So Red Hat solution helps you to stay compliant with regulations and provides monitoring capabilities to track usage and 
performance okay that is also one of the feature in acm and another feature is consistency and standard maintain consistency across your clusters and ensuring applications and configuration align with your desired standards okay and as we discussed it's included with red hat openshift platform plus license only and advanced cluster management for kubernetes is part of a comprehensive shoot of tools and providing powerful features to secure protect and manage your applications effectively efficiency and optimized way okay and now we'll talk about how to install acm advanced cluster management on openshift okay so in our lab environment our openshift cluster is running on vSphere environment and now we are going to configure the advanced cluster management for kubernetes now okay and here one key point is red hat acm is available as an operator and can be installed on a openshift cluster so operator means generally these operators can be found in a openshift hub so let's log into our lab system let's say i log into our red hat openshift cluster so this is running on our vSphere platform and we are running with a uh, one of the vCenter server it's uh, within our OCP we are running three masters and three workers okay when log into the openshift management console once we log in if you see in the left side section under the we have a two types of tab administrator and developer view i am just selecting the administrator view within the overview we can see that our cluster version is 4.13.4 and it is evaluation version 60 days trial period okay and the, this is the latest version from red hat openshift 4.13.4 and if you go to the left side if you select the compute we can see how many nodes same like come from v center level three master three worker we can also free see from here we have three masters and three workers okay see master means three control plane vms and also the three worker node vms okay so now we are planning to configure a red hat acm so as we discussed red hat acm is available as an operator so operator means we have to open go to the within the administrator menu go to the operators tab and select operators hub okay so from operator hub we can choose and install okay so we'll now we'll see the point first i think the animation is slightly misconfigured sorry for that so the first point is access the openshift console and navigate to the operator hub section we already in a operator hub section okay so the first step is completed And second step is search for the advanced cluster management for the Kubernetes operator and select it. So you can type the complete word or you can use any of the shortcut word while searching. So let's say type advanced cluster management. So type here, even if you type advanced, it will give you some features. So when I type advanced, the first option itself, advanced cluster management for Kubernetes. So select this ACM feature if you see here it is developed by red hat and the current version is 2.8 so here the installation options and all we can navigate the clear information instruction is available here and the default we no need to do modifications here we are going with a installation so click on install okay when we click on install there are the default options installation mode a specific namespace on the cluster and also install namespaces operated recommended namespaces open cluster management okay we no need to modify any settings we'll go with a default option if you notice in the right side it is asking us to configure multi cluster hub so multi cluster hub defines the configuration of an instance of the multi cluster hub this is required so once this operator installation is completed we can do this required multi cluster hub as well okay so back to the slide so this searches we already searched and now we are good to install button to initiate the installation process so click on install see advanced cluster management for kubernetes install is in progress okay so we're done with the third step and the fourth step is keep an eye on the status of the operator installation okay and next step once the installation is completed we will see the status displayed under installed operators okay so back to the system it's a we have to monitor the status until it's complete 
and it's saying that the operator is being installed this may take a few minutes okay and also it clearly instructed that view installed operation operators in namespace open shift cluster management once it is installed it can be viewed from the left side under operators when you select installed operators you can see here see if you see here advanced cluster management status is pending that means it's still running in the back end so currently install ready installing state when you click on here it clearly says multi cluster hub is required okay so the same point i highlighted in our slide as well so to utilize the cluster management features we need to create a multi cluster hub instance okay so back to the lab system so we can create this one just click on here create multi cluster hub so when you creating multi cluster hub default name is multi cluster hub and the project is selected as open cluster management and we can go with the default options click on create okay so currently status is in it is not showing any status it may take a while to complete okay so we have to monitor the status so same point highlighted here monitor the status of instance installation which typically takes approximately 10 minutes to complete okay so another point is upon successful installation we can find the advanced cluster management option in the drop down menu and when click on it open the console to access the functionalities of red hat advanced cluster management so these two options will verify see phase is currently multi cluster hub installing in in progress so as mentioned in the slides it may take around 10 minutes time so in the meantime when i click on installed operators again we can see advanced cluster management section is showing as succeeded but we have to wait until the multi cluster hub uh, multi cluster hub status should be ready state or succeeded state So same like status pattern will update it here as well. Okay. So once that is completed, we can see the on the top currently we can see only administrator and developer menu. Once the multi cluster hub is completed, we can see the drop down menu either here or in the latest version we may see on the top menu also. Okay. The ACM console may load here. So for this ACM, our cluster will become as a local cluster. Whatever the clusters we added in future, all become as a additional clusters. Like first one is local cluster one and the other clusters are cluster two, cluster three and so on. So we'll monitor the status from here. So it is running. So status is installing. I'm just refreshing the page to update the status. So there will be a new tab will be added within this console once it is done. Let's back to the slide. Hope this installation 
is uh, quick, uh, easy installation only. From the operator hub, we selected the advanced cluster and click the install. That is the simple method. Once it is done, we have to configure the multi-cluster hub. And this multi-cluster hub configuration only will take around 10 minutes time, okay? So in the meantime, we'll monitor, verify the section from the SSH as well. Suppose, let me connect to the one of the OpenShift helper VM. So if you see in the console screen, it says web console update is available. This has been updated to the web console. Ensure any changes have been saved and refresh your browser. That means some new change is going to update it here. So I'll just refresh web browser. Yeah, if you see that when we refresh the web browser, in the Red Hat OpenShift local cluster, this tab is not available earlier. Now it's newly added. Local cluster means our base cluster uh, that is called cluster one. Okay, that one, we also call it as local cluster. And if you drop down menu, you can see the another option is all cluster. All clusters is nothing but a, that is the only the ACM, advanced cluster management console. So when I select all clusters, we can see the current existing cluster. See, managing clusters just got easier. How would you like to create a cluster? See, we have a multiple options. Either we can import an existing cluster. Suppose if you have a, another cluster running in your remote branch office, you can use that option, uh, this option to import the existing cluster and connect your cloud provider. Suppose you have a cluster running with AWS cloud or Azure cloud or any other cloud, you can use this option to import it here and discover host to create a host inventory. Even using ACM, you can also deploy a new cluster okay that is importance of these three options so let me close you can see the existing local cluster is available so currently status is ready if you want to create a, another new cluster just click on create cluster and you can choose the platforms wherever you want to create a new open shift cluster you can choose either amazon AWS, uh, AWS Cloud or Google Cloud, or you can use Red Hat OpenShift virtualization, Red Hat virtualization, both are different. Red Hat KVM or OpenShift virtualization, Microsoft Azure Cloud, and also VMware vSphere. Suppose in your remote branch, you are running with vCenter, you can use that vSphere platform also to provision a new OpenShift cluster. So currently this ACM have compatibility with all this. And host inventory is nothing but a STA host HCP feature, hosted control plane feature, okay? So hope we got an idea how we can install the ACM and also how we can configure multi-cluster hub. And also we validated the console for ACM console. Once it is completed, by default is local cluster. And once we install the ACM operator for Kubernetes, we'll get the all clusters features. All cluster feature tab is nothing but a ACM console. Okay, hope you got an idea. That's it for today. Thank you. If you're watching this video first time, please do view, like, share, and subscribe to the Ignant Cloud Garage channel. If you are already subscribed, I appreciate all your support. Bye for now.